Are there any more tasks besides that? He's uh, a yeah, stealer because, guy. Yeah, because it's mostly a stealth game. Like, uh, the first game, it really seemed like it was trying to work off of classic collect-a-thon platformers, where it's like, you go through the level, you get the things, uh, you get you find a secret in each level, and then you move on. But the second game was when they actually hammered out some proper gameplay for it, where oh. they made it more sandbox style. Okay. Like you'd okay. Have, yeah, you'd have a uh, like a particular level and setting where you could freely explore it, and then you'd occasionally get jobs that you have to do around the area. And at that point, you could play as Sly Bentley with Murray. Okay. So at the end of the first one, spoiler alert, two thousand two, get over it. Uh, do you do you face the fiendish five and uh, get yeah. to defeat them? Yeah, there are five worlds, and you defeat each of the Fiendish Five, picking up a new skill along the way, and then you face off against the final member of the Fiendish Five, and possibly the most sinister, Clockwork, a giant robotic owl that pretty much nearly kills you at least three times. Oh, wow. So it's a, it's a Clockwork Owl? Or who? Like, who? Who? Yes. Owl. But, okay. Like, uh, every, every one of the other characters is, like, a, like an anthropomorphic, like, uh, they walk like humans, they like do that. But Blockwork is just a straight-up owl, the solid metal with glowing yellow eyes, and it is slightly frightening. Yeah, I bet, if you were a child, too. Time. Yeah, like, if you're little and you're playing that thing, you're like, this is a super creepy-looking owl. Did he? Did the owl have laser eyes? Uh, not laser eyes, but he did fire lasers at you. Okay, because uh, I would have said, uh, laser eyes, leaving money on the table, not using the eyeballs as lasers. But, uh, so so five different worlds. Did the worlds have different, ter- how were the graphics? I mean... Uh, it was really good. Like, one of the main design philosophies behind the Sly Cooper games was making it more like a comic book. Like, uh, some, their main inspiration was Batman the Animated Series, where it's like those oh, okay. hard angles and shadows yeah. and things like that. Oh, that's cool looking. I bet it's really cool looking. Yeah, and it just kept getting better as they went on. But what really cinched it was the gameplay. Yeah, and well, it ought. So the gameplay, but the gameplay was good to begin with, and then it got better in the sequels? 